Okay, this is a tuler's drill concept, and what it's going to be used for is for you to get to cover before they draw. So let me just show you here. From here to here is seven yards. From here to here is seven yards. And it's going to be off screen a little bit, so I'm going to show you right there. Okay. So in other words, in seven yards, the average person can run 1.5 seconds to that distance. So half of that distance is three quarters of a second or 0.750, which means that if these guys can't draw in this time right here, that means you can get to cover before they draw on you rather than just standing there. So... Here's the incident. You have three guys. They don't have a firearm out, but these three guys are, are going to pull their guns out. And you notice that they are reaching for a gun. Rather than you drawing on them, you can get here to here in three quarters of a second, which is cover. You can get here really quick before even the first one draws because I'm giving them each 1.5 seconds for their draw speed. So you notice something's happening. You've got 1.5 seconds to respond, but you respond quicker than that. You respond in three quarters of a second, you get to cover. And basically what you're doing is rather than just standing there like an idiot drawing on these guys that want to draw, what you're doing is you're running while you're drawing or you're just running to get to that cover first so that you have the position of advantage at that cover. So now that I have the, have the advantage of cover and I have my firearm out, these guys that are armed right here, I have the advantage because I have the cover and they don't have the cover. So you see what I'm saying? So typically the tooler's drill is based on the fact that a person can cover um, seven yards in 1.5 seconds. Uh, whether they have a knife or open hand, they can get to you, which means that you have to be able to draw in 1.5 seconds or you have to get further away as they're coming to you so that you can break that uh, distance between you and them. So the way I'm applying the tooler's drill today is I'm applying it to a lateral version right here going this direction but in a way to uh, get to cover. Because if you can run 1.5 seconds and cover 21 feet, then half of that you can cover in three quarters of a second, which is 0.750, which means that if I think that one of these guys is going to draw on me, rather than standing there like an idiot or not being fast enough to draw on all these three guys, what I could do is I could prepare myself and I could run to cover while I'm drawing or get to cover first and then draw. And now I have the advantage because I have the cover. So you never want to be out in the open if you don't have to be. Now, let's say that we didn't have cover here, but we had cover over here, which is seven yards. Okay. Now that's going to be a little bit more difficult because if our cover is at seven yards now, there's a chance that one of these guys could draw and shoot within that time. So what I'm saying here to make a point is that if you have cover near you and it's within three to five yards, it makes sense for you to get to that cover first before you draw on these guys here or draw while you're getting to cover. Because of the simple fact that you're using cover to your advantage and it's so close, if you can beat these guys to cover before they draw, then you got cover. Now you have a position that you can use tactically against these guys here. So if we didn't have cover, obviously there's nothing you can do if you don't have cover. You can only incapacitate one person at a time. So you would have to draw even though they had the draw advantage you would still try to have to draw your firearm very quickly. You'd have to draw it in probably under a second because they already got a head start on you. So that's what I'm saying. The person that has the head start on the draw usually has the advantage 
But if we think about it, and you have a position of cover, and you see one of these guys drawing first, and their draw speed is like 1.5 seconds, you know that within five yards, you can quickly get into position, a tactical position, really quick. So from here to here, you can do that first and then shoot back. Or you can do that while you have your hand on the firearm and you're drawing it out. So you're covering yourself while getting to cover, even though it's only three quarters of a second or whatever. So that is much more tactical than just standing out there like a fool thinking that you're going to outdraw these three guys. You got three guns here. Even if you outdraw the first guy and incapacitate him, you still got two other guys here. So it makes sense to shoot on the move and get to cover immediately, knowing that you can cover that distance in three quarters of a second, which is faster than any of these guys can draw. So I see somebody reaching right here. Let's say that this guy's reaching, and then this guy's going to reach, and this guy's going to reach. Well, I can quickly go here. Now I have the tactical advantage. He finally got out his gun, and he notices that I'm behind cover now. And these guys know I'm behind cover. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm holding my position of cover, and if they decide to come to my cover, I have the tactical advantage. But being from this position right here, I can see what's going on at the same time I have cover, whereas they don't have cover. So, so if we can apply the tooler's drill going from here to here and how fast a person can, can uh, cover you and get a hold of you as far as uh, somebody that's just using their bare hands or a knife or something like that, if we know that a person can run, uh, seven yards in, in uh, 1.5 seconds, then we can apply that same concept to getting to cover in that amount of time that somebody has to draw. So if these one of these guys has a 1.5 second draw and they're just starting their draw, then I know that I can cover uh, three to five yards and I can get to cover and I can use that at a, as a tactical advantage for my opponent so that I can take on these opponents if they should choose to come to my cover. Now I might hold my position of cover and fire back, but if they take off on me and I'm holding my cover, I'm not gonna go chase them. I'm gonna stay there where I have my tactical advantage. And then these three guys running over here, you know, if they took off or something, they, you know, that's for law enforcement, that's not for us. So, and, and in some states you can get in trouble uh, for chasing. So the whole objective is getting to cover really quick, defending from cover, and then letting them run away or whatever they want to do. And most times, uh, defense situations among private citizens, usually what happens is after the first shot, usually, you know, the person fires one shot, the private citizen, and then usually the three guys just kind of take off. So they're not interested within the first, say, three to six seconds, they're gone. So it's it's one way to look at it's one way to look at it here for for an option that you have uh, to getting to cover because you can get to cover very quickly. Uh, a lot of people don't don't notice this, but you can get to cover faster than somebody can draw. Because if I gave them each a 1.5 second draw time, like I was showing you here, I see somebody reaching but there's two other guys that might have guns. So I'm deciding to go to cover rather than drawing on these guys, or I'm drawing my firearm while I'm moving to cover. See, I'm doing two things at one time. So I get here before any firearm even comes out of the holster. I have the tactical advantage here. So you always want to incorporate cover into your tactics because you're not Superman, you're not John Wick, you're not gonna be like John Wick out in the open here. You're gonna be a dead man. Okay, that's Hollywood, that's not real. These three guys could have guns, they could be shooting at you. You can only incapacitate one person at a time. And if you don't make good shots for this person, they don't go down, then you got two other guys shooting at you and you're not gonna be fast enough. I don't care what kind of uh, competition shooter you are, who you think you are. You're not going to be fast enough with three guys drawing guns on you to take them all out. 
maybe get lucky, but the thing is, is that it's kind of stupid to be out in the open here when you can get to cover, knowing you can get to cover in three fourths of a second. Okay. You can use cover to your advantage and have the advantage over these guys. And like I said, usually in more, in most private defense situations, these guys are probably going to be gone within three to six seconds. If they see the gun, three to six seconds, or if one shot is fired three to five, three to six seconds, they're going to be gone. And that's usually what's been shown is that a private citizen that defends himself, that has the guts to, to shoot back and defend himself, usually the bad guys leave, even if there is multiple attackers. So anyway, hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for watching.